With the sixth pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Malik Neighbors, wide receiver from LSU. I love that the Giants chose Neighbors. Having Daniel Jones and Malik Neighbors on the same team is a great combo. It's much better than the uncertainty they had before. The roster at the skill positions looked pretty empty, but not anymore. I'm excited because the Giants don't have to make desperate moves. Daniel Jones is here for another year, whether people like it or not. Let's dive into the New York Giants because this team has had an amazing offseason. They've not only improved their offense, but also strengthened their defense. They came into this offseason with a plan to fix last year's problems, and they did a fantastic job. If the new players perform as well as I think they can, this team could surprise everyone. They might be a sneaky good team that isn't getting enough credit. But before I explain why, if you enjoy content about the New York Giants, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any updates this offseason. Now back to the Giants. They are coming off a tough season with a 6-11 record, missing the playoffs. This was disappointing because the previous year, they made it to the playoffs and even won a game. Everyone expected them to improve and become contenders, especially with all the great additions they made last offseason. But that didn't happen. The team had a lot of problems on both defense and offense that no one expected. It quickly became clear that the Giants weren't going to be better than they were in 2022. So going into this offseason, they needed to make some changes to have any chance of being contenders. And I think the New York Giants did everything they could to give themselves that chance. Let's start with the offense. They made some great moves in the draft that will make the team a lot better. In the first round, with the sixth overall pick, they chose Malik Neighbors from LSU. There was a lot of talk before the draft about whether the Giants should take a quarterback or the best wide receiver available. If Drake May had been available, they might have taken him, but he wasn't. Not picking J.J. McCarthy and instead going for Malik Neighbors was the right choice. You could argue that the Giants needed a quarterback, but they haven't had a top-notch receiver since the days of Odell Beckham Jr. Adding a great receiver like Malik Neighbors makes a lot of sense. Neighbors can play both outside and inside. He's one of the most explosive and natural movers in the entire draft class. When you watch him play, you can see it immediately. Once he catches the ball, he's hard to stop, often turning short passes into long touchdowns. Yes, the Giants needed a quarterback, but I believe Malik Neighbors will make a bigger impact than J.J. McCarthy would have. He's going to be really good right away, which is better than taking a chance on a quarterback who might not work out. Neighbors adds a lot of explosiveness to the offense, and with the other receivers the Giants have, things are looking up. The Giants have Darius Slayton, Wandale Robinson, and Jalen Hyatt, who they picked in last year's draft. If these guys stay healthy, Daniel Jones will have some good targets. Juan Dale Robinson plays great when he's on the field, but he's been injured a lot. Hopefully, he can stay healthy this year. Darius Slayton is also a solid option, and Jalen Hyatt has the speed to make big plays. Plus, the Giants still have Isaiah Hodgins and added Allen Robinson in free agency, giving them even more options. This should allow the offense to be more creative and help Daniel Jones have an easier time. You also have to remember that the team still has Darren Waller. Even though there's been some talk about whether he'll retire or keep playing, it seems like he's decided to stay. If he plays, he's another fantastic weapon for the offense. Yes, he's had injury problems, which is a bit worrying, but if he can stay healthy like the other guys, the offense will look really strong. To go with Darren Waller, the Giants picked Theo Johnson from Penn State in the fourth round of the draft. While he didn't have huge stats in college, he's an amazing athlete. He's 6'6", six, six inches, and 260 pounds, ran a 4.57 second 40-yard dash at the combine, and had a 39.5-inch vertical jump. Those numbers show his potential to become a standout player. Although having good receivers was a problem last year, the biggest issue was the offensive line. They were really bad. So the Giants had to improve it this offseason. 
And I think they did. In free agency, they added John Runyon and Aaron Stinney, along with a few other guys who will be solid backups. These additions are much better than what the Giants had last year. With Andrew Thomas and John Michael Schmitz, the offensive line should play much better. John Michael Schmitz is expected to improve in his second year, and he has the potential to be a great center in the NFL. We already know Andrew Thomas is one of the best tackles when he's healthy. The main concern is Evan Neal. He hasn't lived up to being the seventh overall pick yet, but if he can get even a little better this season, the offensive line will have a real chance to be good. The Giants also added Devin Singletary, who had a solid season last year, and drafted Tyrone Tracy Jr. This should help the running game be strong behind the improved offensive line. Coach Brian DeBole wants to focus on the running game to make things easier for Daniel Jones. When they made things easier for Jones two years ago, he played really well and the team won games. If they can use the same system, I believe the offense will be pretty good and work well with the defense. The defense has a lot of potential too. The Giants needed to make some changes here because the defense wasn't great last year. However, there was more promise on this side of the ball compared to the offense, and the new additions should make a big difference. The biggest move this offseason was trading for Brian Burns. He's going to bring elite edge rushing skills, making the Giants one of the best pass rushing teams in the NFL. Brian Burns is only 26, just entering his prime. He's been consistently good every year in the league, and that should continue in New York. Burns will be paired with Kayvon Thibodeau, who had an incredible season with double-digit sacks, and Dexter Lawrence, who might be the best interior defensive lineman in the NFL now that Aaron Donald has retired. With these three on the same defensive line, they should be one of the best units in football. If they play well, the rest of the defense will follow. At linebacker, the Giants still have Bobby Okereke, who played well last year and lived up to his contract. Micah McFadden is also entering his third year and has been impressive for a fifth-round pick. Together, they form a solid front seven. If this group can stop the run and pressure the quarterback, it will make things easier for the secondary. In the secondary, Deani Banks is coming off a good rookie season and should keep improving. There's hope that Tracy Hawkins can still develop, even though he didn't meet expectations last year. Cordell Flott is an okay player, and the Giants added Andrew Phillips from Kentucky in the draft. Phillips might be a bit raw, which is why he fell to the third round, but he has everything you want in an NFL cornerback. I think he'll play a lot of snaps and be a great addition to the cornerback room. When you look at the whole defense with these new pieces and the improvements, they have a chance to be really good this season. I really like what the Giants have done with their defense. Moving to the safeties, they drafted Tyler Newbin in the second round to replace Xavier McKinney. I think Newbin will be a good replacement. He might not be the best athlete, but he's very skilled and smart. He's likely to play well right away because he's so polished as a player. He'll take over McKinney's role and do a solid job. Newbin will join Jason Pinnock and Jalen Mills in the safety group. With these players, I think the Giants' defense has the potential to be a top 10 unit in the NFL. When you combine a strong defense with an offense full of potential, this team could be much better than people expect.